Whoa! Guess what time it is, y'all? Time to stop building this his house, yeah! And the first part of this house we're gonna build is our underground earth bag root cellar, yeah! I can't wait to get started. It's about time, time to get this done. I have no idea how long this is gonna take, but I know it is gonna take a lot of time. Earth bag is a lot of work. We wanna get as much done before winter rolls around. We can have these bags freezing up. I'm just looking at these big holes in the ground and I'm wondering how we're gonna get it done. But you know what? We are gonna get it done. If we can get that cistern done, we can get this house done. You feel me on that? Let's do it. <laughs> Welcome to the trenches. We are now in the East Pit. This is gonna be the future site of our root cellar. Crazy exciting, I can't believe it. First off, gonna do a little site prep. All these larger size rocks, I'm gonna get these out of here, a future Gabion material. You never know. Level it off a little bit, doesn't gotta be perfect because I'm gonna be doing some other things to make sure they're level. Right now, I just wanna do a little cleanup down here. Now that I got some of those bigger rocks out of the way, now I'm gonna start this project out the same way I started the cistern. I want to get the pole compass in place. Yeah, I don't think the pole stole digger is going to work for this. The ground is almost like solid rock. Time to bring out the heavy artillery with this hole. Whew. Superhero pose. Gonna bring out the tool of tools, the digging bar. This ought to do the trick. Digging through this is gonna be a challenge. A lot of large rocks and gravel. I finally got this hole dug. It took me a while. I was literally just smashing through rock in order to do that. I really worked hard to get this down to two feet. So this is my base pole, just two feet long, just slightly larger in diameter than the pole I'm gonna use as the main structure pole. I figure the more plumb I can make this base part, the better this whole structure is gonna be. I could have put this thing together, but it was getting dark and I really wanted to show you guys how the rest of this goes together. So I got my slightly wider diameter pole on the ground, looking pretty good. And you really wanna make sure this one is as plumb as you can get it. I'm gonna put my center pole in there. Oh, looking mighty nice. So our root cellar here is going to be a 14 foot interior diameter and eight feet tall. Now I got my pole arm here. I'm just going to attach that and then we should be good. All right, now this is looking really good. Whew, crazy exciting. I'm also going to leave a link in the video to a, another video we did on installing this, but uh, let me show you some of the improvements that we made, uh, some lessons learned. One thing is that the pole arm kept sliding out of the little socket here. So I put in a little screw and that keeps the arm right in place. It doesn't slide out. That's been a huge help. We also taped a little level to this arm and that was a game changer for us when doing earth bag building. That was incredibly helpful. And don't forget on your pole arm, you want a little L bracket down here to kind of measure the inner diameter of the bags. We'll definitely show that a little later on. Now I should be able to freely maneuver the arm all the way around. So I'm just adjusting my L bracket here and pretty much anything from this L bracket over to the end, I'm gonna dig a small trench going all the way around. Are you ready for trench digging? Let's get this done so we can get some bags filled. Yeah, man, I almost forgot. Look at this, I'm bald. Jessica gave me a haircut earlier. Nice and tight. Yeah, this is a haircut that says, let's get it done. Oh! I think the shovel is going to be almost absolutely useless out here because uh, there's so much rock and gravel. So I'm actually going to go right into the mattock and just kind of start scraping things up and then moving it that way. Now kind of use my pole compass here as a guide. I can easily see how wide I'm going to need to get this trench, but I'm going to make it maybe just over the width of the bags and maybe about a foot deep. Now the purpose of doing a gravel trench like this, you want your, your foundation to be slightly below the frost line. We don't have too much of a frost line here. Plus you want like a moisture barrier so that moisture isn't getting wicked up straight into the bags. We're putting a gravel trench down here just as a precautionary thing. I think with such a solid structure like earth bag, I think you want just a little bit of flexibility in the foundation.
Good morning. Last night was crazy. We had absolutely crazy winds just rip through here last night. Uh, the trailer was rocking. We woke up, the crew was up. He was definitely scared. I just had to go out and comfort him for a while. I think we got 0.2 inches of rain, so that was welcome. Things seem to be pretty good around here. We had one casualty. Unfortunately, the black soldier fly enclosure didn't make it. But the work gotta continue. I'm heading down into the hole right away, trying to get as much work done as I can while the air is still nice and cool and try and finish this off. That way I can start with the gravel. That way we can start with the bags. <laughs> All right. Unbelievable. Would you look at this? Look what the wind blew in. I got enough work to do out here without the wind button in. Woo! Dang, y'all, I did it. She did it too. She's doing something. What you doing over there? She's working on things. She's got her own things she's doing. Meanwhile, I finished something too. Man, it felt like it took forever, but I did it. Finally got that trench all the way around. Man, that thing was a beast. Every time I swung that mattock, clank, 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 just hitting on the rocks. It was ridiculous. If you see down there, I mean, it's just gravel. It's like gravel with a little dirt mixed in. <laughs> but look at the size of these rocks that I also pulled out. Yeah, that's right. All of that came just from that trench, just from a little like foot and a half, two foot wide trench. There's a lot of material like I got out from there. So anyway, now that I dug up the gravel from that uh, trench, I wanna go put some more gravel in. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, while I've been digging trenches, just cause like, just putting some finishing touches on some of the cistern. She's, not only is she working on the gutters up there, but she's working on the gutters over here, just getting a little bit more cement in place. That way when the water does flow onto the cistern roof, it flows directly into the PVC pipes. Right? That's the idea. That's the idea. <laughs> So this is the gravel pile we got over here. I've been using this for a lot of projects, but I knew that we might need this for the house build. That's why I got like 13 tons of gravel. There's still a lot of gravel there. So time to get this moving. Yeah, I gotta get it done today. Let's see if I can do it. I'm gonna try and move all this gravel, get that in the trench because I wanna get this build going. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> Woo, trying to psych myself up. I have got a lot of gravel to move and I gotta do it quick. But it's not gonna be easy. I'm gonna try and lay four to six inches of gravel all the way around that trench. It's gonna be a lot of gravel, y'all. Gonna be a lot of ships moving back and forth. Now really, with all these piles of dirt around, I really don't have too many options of dumping the gravel in. So, let's see how this goes. <laughs> Well, I got things spread around pretty good down there. It's just now getting the level down there and seeing if there are any high spots, any low spots, and just kind of move that gravel around. So this is looking good. Jess and I, we went around taking measurements around the trench. This is looking really good. We are ready to set down bags. Very cool. Don't forget to smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe because you gotta see us build this thing up. Yeah, we'll catch you on the next video. Bye.